Hi, this is Kerry Landholt. Reading from the gruntjs.com homepage, Grunt is a task-based command line build tool for JavaScript projects. Grunt runs on top of Node.js, so heading over to nodejs.org, you can easily download the installable application for whichever environment you're working on. And the newer versions come with NPM built in. That's the Node Package Manager. Now, Grunt is distributed as a Node package. And let's head over to the console to show you how to install that. So here I've brought up the terminal in Mac and what you want to do is make sure that you install Grunt as a global application so it becomes available from anywhere inside of your terminal command line. So let's do that. npm for no package manager, install, dash g, which stands for global, Grunt. Hit enter. Now you may encounter some errors like this and this simply means I don't have the permissions to install it the way I have it. So let's do the sudo npm install dash g grunt enter my local password and that should install successfully and there it's done grunt by default uses a grunt file and that file is grunt.js so i have a text editor open with a folder you'll see called calculator and that's just some boilerplate javascript files that i'll use to build against so let's go ahead and create our grunt file in this case a new file what you need to do anytime you create a file is enter some boilerplate text and that is module.exports equals function then pass in grunt and we'll close that off and that's really all you need now what we'll do in this screencast is go ahead and create a grunt configuration to minify some JavaScript files we need to tell grunt that we're going to configure it so we give it the uh, command grunt init config and this is actually a function we're calling and we're providing it this object and it's an object of configuration so if we utilize the built-in minification task we just simply write that and we're going to say this is our distribution and the first argument we're going to give it is the source so this is the file that we want to minify in this case and i'll go ahead and add the um, or minify the add uh, function so remember that's in the calculator folder, so I have to prefix with that. So then I'll say the destination is, and I'll just put this one at the root, just so we can see it. And I'll just do add.min.js. Save it. Now what I need to do is ask Grunt to run this. And this is all I need to do. This is the only configuration that I need to minify that, that uh, add.js file located inside the calculator folder. Let's come to the terminal and type Grunt. Now, this is telling us, this warning is telling us there's no default task found. Well, I'll get into how we can address that in a moment. But what you can do is say, all right, but run the, minif the min task. So I do grunt min. And you'll notice it says running min colon dist. And I'll get into what that syntax means in just a moment. File add.min.js was created. And we can even see it over here in our uh, text uh, editor uncompressed size is 39 bytes compressed size is 50 bytes 30 bytes uh, minified and so forth now let's go ahead and take a look at the original file here's the add and here's the minified and you can see it got rid of the extra spaces spaces it didn't need uh, any comments if there were any made the uh, parameters one character so now let's say that we want to minify all of the calculator files but let's just take it one step at a time. Let's just say I want the add and subtract. Well, we can simply say that source is now an array of files or array of strings. And the string represents the file path. And I'll say calculator slash subtract dot JS. And let me just give it a new file name. And we'll just say add sub. I'll save that. I'll run the grunt min. It says it did it. And here's our new file. And here we go. Function add. There's my function. Function subtract. So we got both of those and they were both minified. But I don't want to keep adding these separately to the array. Or, you know, uh, it's easy with four of them. Add, subtract, multiply, and divide. But, you know, what if I'm creating a scientific calculator and there ends up being a thousand functions? Well, one way we can do it is we can use the mini match syntax. What that says is, and, and I won't need the array for this, is it's almost giving it uh, 
some wild card uh, matches. So I want to use every JavaScript file in the calculator folder. Calculator slash asterisk.js. So it's going to use every JavaScript file in the calculator folder. And I'll just call this calculator.min.js. Save it. Run it in our terminal, grunt min. Here's our calculator min.js. Add, divide, multiply, subtract. You will notice that it's not add, subtract because it pulled them in alphabetical order. Add, divide, multiply, subtract. So it pulled all those in in that one simple step. Get, it concatenated the files, minified those, and output it into the destination. So it worked perfectly. So what we did is we looked at how to minify a single file, multiple files, and then use Minimatch to output a, a bunch of them. Let's take a look at exactly what this whole dist thing means. And by the way, dist could be anything. It could be your name. It could be something more meaningful than that to your project. But what's nice, what's really interesting and incredibly flexible is you can add as many of these as you want. Of course, it is JavaScript, so you have to name them something separately. So let's just say I add an add sub. And I'm going to say uh, I want just the uh, add.js and subtract.js files. Okay, and I'll have a new uh, destination here and I'll, I'll just use what I used before. How do I run that? Before I was just doing grunt min. Well, if you remember, if you look at the uh, terminal output here, grunt min running min colon dist. So it, it found dist inside that min configuration. What happens if I run grunt min again? Grunt min. And you'll notice it ran both of those, min dist and min add sub. So it found every configuration inside that task, inside the min task, and ran them. If I want to run one of those, you can simply use the syntax that they even describe in the output. So I can say grunt min colon add sub, and it will only run that one. So you can see grunt min add sub, and it ran just the one. And likewise, if I want to run the first one, grunt min dist, and it just runs that one. And if I want to run both, I don't specify a colon and the other name. Grunt min, and it runs both of those. You may have the need to provide some sort of text or comments in your minified file. Grunt provides a facility for this uh, by using their meta task. And what they call it is a banner. So let's define our banner. And it's just a string. This is text that will be placed inside the final output. So for example, and don't forget this is a JavaScript file we're talking about. So you want to make sure that you use the JavaScript comments. And I'll say, uh, this is my minified app. Okay. And that's all I have to do. I have to find my banner. That doesn't necessarily include it, or I should say it won't include that in the final app. But what you do is you actually add it as a source. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this back into array. And I'm going to say the first thing I want in here is the banner. And you notice I have to use the less than greater than. Uh, that's kind of a grunt directive. And what that's doing is saying, okay, that's a meta tag, a meta information, and get me the banner. And it will insert that, in this case, first, before the calculator uh, asterisk JS, all the, the calculator files. Let's go ahead and run this now. So I'll just do grunt min, because uh, I don't care if it builds both of these. So let's look at the disk, because this is the only one I did it on. And it's calculator.min.js. And there it is. This is my minified app. Here's that comment. If I go back and look at add sub.js, since that ran as well, that doesn't have that because I didn't include that banner here. What if I want to include the date of the time that I built this? Well, uh, Grunt uses underscore templating to, to give you these helpful features. So I can come in here and say, this is my minified app built. And then I'll get into the expression syntax for uh, underscore. And I'll say grunt.template.today, since that's a function. And I'll close out that expression. And what will happen is grunt compiles this. It will execute that function. 
So this gets into the templating library of it, which is just a wrapper of underscore. Now let's run this. Okay, let's look at our calculator min. This is my minified app, built Wednesday, January 30th at 2.44 in uh, the afternoon. And so now you can timestamp it and you can get clever. You can use uh, version numbers, anything you want. But that's a nice feature that they provide. Now, one thing you may note is that each time I make a change to one of these files, I'll have to run the minification again. Every time. If I commonly change a number of files or add files, then I'm going to have to re reminify. Let's first add a file to the calculator folder. And I'll just... Uh, I'll just log a statement that said, this is the, the square function. Okay. Oh, I'm in my uh, coffee script mode here. So let me fix that. Save it. And I'll just call it square.js. Just because I want a file there. If I go ahead and run the min, you should note that it picks it up here. should have square somewhere in here. Here it is. Here's the console log statement. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, let me delete that. And if I go back to calculator.min, it's still there. It's inconsistent with what I want. It's, it's not exactly what I want. I want that the all the files in the calculator folder are minified with the banner in front of them at the, at the time they were built. Well, that was not exactly the case. I had square. I had to build it manually. And then I deleted it, and now it's inconsistent. Well, a feature that Grunt comes with, one of their built-in tasks, is called the watch task. And this is perfect for this. And you can run unit tests, do all kinds of things um, in the watch task. So let's go ahead and configure that, what we want to watch. And the first thing you'll do is you'll, of course, write your, your watch uh, configuration here. You're going to say, these are the files that I want you to watch. Okay, and I'm going to say um, calculator, and I want to watch all of the JS files, all the JavaScript files in the calculator folder. Those are the files I want you to watch. Then, when there is a change to one of those files that you're watching, I want you to run these tasks. And I'm going to say, I want you to run the min dist task. And you can comma delimit these and run as many tasks as you want to. So what does that look like? Let's, let's do this. Let's do grunt watch. Okay, it's watching. That's all it's doing. It didn't do anything yet other than start listening. Now if I come back and I'm running uh, TextMate, or sorry, uh, Sublime Text, so uh, this file actually didn't uh, close out uh, of the text editor. If I just hit save again, notice... Right here, it says it's running the watch task. File calculator square JS changed. Well, it changed because it was simply added. And then it ran the min dist. Now, if I come to the calculator min JS, we should see our square function. And here it is. Now, if I go back to the square function and I add a new line, oh yeah, save it. And now here, Calculator JS changed. I don't know if you saw that, but this was the first change where we add the file. This was the second change. Now, if I look at the minified file, scroll over, and it has the oh yeah. Simply press Control C to stop the watch. Early on, we encountered the error when we just tried to run the grunt command without grunt min or grunt min dist or grunt min add sub or even grunt watch. Let's do that again, just typing grunt. And it warns us that there is no default task found. Well, what we can do is we can define a default task. So grunt, and the way we do this, we have to register the task. And we'll say, okay, this is the default one. And then here's an array of tasks that we want to run as the default task. So for example, I'm going to say, yes, I want to run the min dist. Let's save that and come back to our terminal and simply run grunt. Now this time it found that default task and it ran the min dist. Now I may want to say, let's just run min. Run it again. And it ran both min dist and min add sub like we demonstrated before. This is Kerry Landholt. Thank you for watching.